Northern Lights, known as the Golden Compass in North America and some other countries, is a young adult fantasy novel by Philip Pullman, published by Scholastic UK in 1995. Set in a parallel universe, it features the journey of Lyra Balakwa to the Arctic in search of her missing friend, Roger Parslow, and her imprisoned uncle, Lord Azriel, who has been conducting experiments with a mysterious substance known as dust. Northern Lights is the first book of a trilogy, His Dark Materials 1995 Alfred A. Knopf published the first U.S. edition April 1996, entitled The Golden Compass. Under that title it has been adapted as a 2007 feature film by Hollywood and as a companion video game. Pullman won the 1995 Carnegie Medal from the Library Association, recognising the year's outstanding British children's book. For the 70th anniversary of the medal, it was named one of the top ten winning works by a panel, composing the ballot for a public election of the all-time favourite. Northern Lights won the public vote from that shortlist and was thus named the all-time Carnegie of Carnegies. On the 21st of June 2007. Topic Synopsis. Topic Setting. The novel is set in a world dominated by an international theocracy, the Magisterium, also commonly called the Church", which actively suppresses heresy. In this world, human souls naturally exist outside of their bodies in the form of sentient demons, talking animal spirits that constantly accompany, aid, and comfort their humans. Children's demons can freely and instantaneously change their appearance into that of any real or mythical creature. Once people reach puberty, however, their demons settle into one permanent form. Topic. Plot Twelve-year-old Lyra Balakwa runs wild with her demon Pantalaemon around Jordan College, Oxford, under the guardianship of the college's master. One day, she witnesses the master poison wine intended for Lord Asriel, Lyra's rebellious and adventuring uncle. She warns Asriel not to drink the wine, then spies on his lecture about dust. Mysterious elementary particles attracted to adults more than children. Asriel shows the college scholars images of a parallel universe seen through the Northern Lights amidst a concentration of dust. The scholars agree to fund his controversial research, which is considered heretical by the oppressive church. Lyra's friend Roger goes missing, presumed kidnapped by mysterious child abductors called gobblers. Mrs. Coulter, a charming socialite, adopts Lyra. Before Lyra leaves Jordan, the master secretly entrusts her with an alithiometer, a strange truth-telling device, which she quickly learns to use intuitively. After several weeks, Lyra discovers that Coulter is the head of the Gobblers, or General Oblation Board, a secret church-funded project. Horrified, Lyra flees to the Egyptians, canal-faring nomads, many of whose children have also been abducted. They reveal to Lyra that Azriel and Coulter are her parents. The Egyptians form an expedition to the Arctic with Lyra, where they believe the gobblers are holding their children. They stop in Trollazunt, where Lyra meets Yorick Bernison, the dispossessed royal heir of the Panserbjorn armored bears. Lyra uses her alithiometer to locate Yorick's missing armor. In return, he and his human aeronaut friend, Lee Scoresby, join her group. She also learns that Lord Azriel has been exiled, guarded by the Panserbjorn on Svalbard. Trollzun's witch consul tells the Egyptians of a prophecy about Lyra which she must not know, and that the witch clans are choosing sides for an upcoming war. The search party continues towards Bulvanger, the Gobbler research station. Guided by the alithiometer, Lyra detours at a village and discovers an abandoned child who has been cut from his demon and who soon dies. 
she realizes the gobblers are experimenting on children by severing the bond between human and demon, a soul-splitting process called intercision. Lyra and her companions are attacked by bounty hunters, and Lyra is captured and taken to Bolvanger, where she is briefly reunited with Roger before being sent to be separated from Pantalaemon. Just before this can occur, Coulter arrives and halts the intercision process. She tells Lyra that intercision prevents the onset of troubling adult emotions, though it has not yet been perfected. Lyra activates Bolvanger's emergency alarm, sets the station on fire, and evacuates the children, where they are rescued by scores by, Yorick, the Gyptians, and the witch clan of Serafina Pakala, who battle the station attendants as Lyra, Roger, and Yorick flee in scores by's hot air balloon. Lyra directs the witches to tow the balloon towards Azrael in Svalbard, but she falls out and is taken by the Panserbjorn to the castle of their usurping king, Iofer Rachnison. She tricks Iofer into fighting Yorick, who arrives with the others to rescue Lyra. Yorick kills Iofer and regains his place as the rightful king. Lyra, Yorick, and Roger continue onwards to Svalbard, where Azrael has continued his dust research in exile. He tells Lyra all he knows of dust, that it has spawned parallel universes, it is somehow connected to death and misery, and that the Church believes it is the physical basis of sin. He plans to visit the other universes and destroy the source of dust. Suddenly, he severs Roger from his demon, killing Roger but releasing an enormous amount of energy that tears a hole in the Northern Lights to a parallel universe, through which he walks. Because Azrael believes dust is a force of evil, the devastated Lyra decides that perhaps it is really a force of good. Vowing to stop her father, she and Pantalaemon pass through the opening in the sky. Topic. Characters All humans in Northern Lights, as well as witches, have a demon, pronounced demon, which is the physical manifestation of a person's inner being, soul, or spirit. It takes the form of a creature moth, bird, dog, monkey, snake, etc. and is usually the opposite sex to its human counterpart. The demons of children have the ability to change form, from one creature to another, but towards the end of a child's puberty, their demon settles into a permanent form, which reflects the person's personality. When a person dies, the demon dies too. Armored bears, cliff ghasts and other creatures do not have demons. An armored bear's armor is his soul. Lyra Balakwa and Pantalaemon, the principal characters. Lyra is described as having blue eyes and blonde hair, along with being short for her age and quite thin but is still quite attractive. She is also brave, curious, and crafty. Her demon is Pantalaemon, nicknamed Pan. Because Lyra is still a child, Pan is still capable of changing into any shape he wishes often a brown moth, a wildcat, a white ermine, or a mouse. Lyra has been prophesied by the witches to help the balance of life, but must do so without being aware of her destiny. Roger Parslow, one of Lyra's friends, a boy whose family works at Jordan College. When he is kidnapped and taken north, Lyra pursues him in hopes of rescuing him, meeting up with him again at Bolvanger. Lord Azrael, ostensibly Lyra's uncle, though it is later revealed that he is actually her father. His demon is Stelmaria, a Moroccan snow leopard. Marissa Coulter, an agent of the Magisterium, who does not hesitate to manipulate the Church to obtain funds for her projects. She is intelligent and beautiful, but also ruthless and callous. She is revealed to be Lyra's mother, as a result, she is unexpectedly kind to Lyra. Her demon is a golden monkey who, unusually, is not named throughout the trilogy. Yorick Bernison, rightful king of the Panserbjorn, armored bears with human level intelligence. Yorick has been tricked out of his armor and reduced to a slave of the human village Trollazunt. 
After Lyra helps him recover his armor, he becomes very protective of her and joins the expedition to find the children seized by gobblers. He gives her the name, Lyra Silvertongue, after she tricks the usurper Iofer Rachnison into fighting him. Iofer Rachnison, a Panserbjorn who has usurped Yorick Bernison's authority as king. Iofer wants a demon and Lyra tricks him into fighting the exiled Yorick by pretending to be Yorick's demon, and promising that when Iofer wins the fight she will become his. Serafina Pakala, a witch who closely follows Lyra on her travels. She is aware of Lyra's destiny. Serafina's demon is Kaisa, a snow goose, who is capable of physically moving separately from Serafina over long distances, a quality that only witches' demons possess innately. She and Fardar Koram had a son together, prior to the trilogy. Lee Scoresby, a Texan aeronaut who transports Lyra in his balloon. He and Yorick Bernison are good friends and Lee comes to see Lyra as a surrogate daughter. His demon is Hester, an arctic snow hare. Ma Costa, a Egyptian woman whose son, Billy Costa is abducted by the "'Gobblers". She rescues Lyra from Mrs. Coulter and takes her to John F.A.A. We later discover that Ma Costa nursed Lyra, when she was a baby. John F.A.A., the king of all Egyptian people. He journeyed with Lyra to the north with his companion Fardar Koram. Topic. Title During pre-publication of the novel, the prospective trilogy was known in Britain as the Golden Compasses, an allusion to God's poetic delineation of the world. The term is from a line in Milton's Paradise Lost, where it denotes the drafting compass God used to establish and set a circular boundary of all creation. Book 7, lines 224–229 In the U.S., publisher Knopf had been calling the first book The Golden Compass singular, which it mistakenly understood as a reference to Lyra's alethiometer depicted on the front cover shown at the head of this article, because of the device's resemblance to a navigational compass. By the time Pullman had replaced the Golden Compasses with his Dark Materials as the name of the trilogy, the U.S. publisher had become so attached to the original title that it insisted on publishing the first book as The Golden Compass rather than as Northern Lights, the title used in Britain and Australia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Critical reception. Topic. Awards For Northern Lights Pullman won both the annual Carnegie Medal for British Children's Books and the annual Guardian Children's Fiction Prize, a similar award that authors may not win twice. Six books have won both awards in 45 years through 2011. In the U.S., The Golden Compass was named Booklist Editor's Choice, Top of the List, Publishers Weekly Book of the Year, a Horn Book Fanfare Honor Book, and a Bulletin Blue Ribbon Book. Topic: <laughs> Religion. Some critics have asserted that the trilogy and the movie portray the organized churches and religion negatively, while others, notably Dr. Rowan Williams, formerly Archbishop of Canterbury, have argued that Pullman's works should be included in religious education courses. Peter Hitchens views the series His Dark Materials as a direct rebuttal of The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Literary critic Alan Jacobs of Wheaton College in Illinois suggests that Pullman recasts the Narnia series, replacing a theist world view with a Rousseauist one. <laughs> Adaptations and video game A feature film adaptation of the novel, named The Golden Compass, was released in December 2007. The novel was adapted by Chris Weitz, who also directed the film. Dakota Blue Richards, in her film debut, played Lyra. 
The cast included Nicole Kidman, Daniel Craig, Ava Green, Ian McKellen, Sam Elliott, Derek Jacobi, and Christopher Lee. In 1996, Natasha Richardson narrated an audiobook version of Northern Lights. The trilogy, His Dark Materials, was abridged in a dramatization by BBC Worldwide, published on 1 January 2003. It was also adapted unabridged and released by BBC Audiobooks, narrated by Philip Pullman. The cast includes Joanna Wyatt as Lyra, Alison Dowling as Mrs. Coulter, Sean Barrett as Lord Asriel and Yorick Bernison and Stephen Thorne as the Master and Farter Coram. The National Theatre in London staged a two-part adaptation of the trilogy in 2003–2004. A video game of the movie adaptation of the book, titled The Golden Compass, published by Sega and developed by Shiny Entertainment, was released 4 December 2007. Players assume the role of Lyra as she travels through the frozen wastes of the North in an attempt to rescue her friend kidnapped by a mysterious organization known as the Gobblers. Traveling with her are an armored polar bear and her demon Pantalaemon Pan. Together, they must use a truth-telling alithiometer and other items to explore the land and fight their way through confrontations to help Lyra's friend. The Golden Compass features a mix of fighting and puzzle solving with three characters. In November 2015, BBC announced that it would be making a TV series adaptation of the book series, to be produced by Bad Wolf and New Line Cinema, and directed Bidham Hooper. See also His Dark Materials List of His Dark Materials characters Races and creatures in His Dark Materials Locations in His Dark Materials Notes <laughs>